Hello, hello everybody, this is Tiptop MTG here today with another Magic the Gathering Arena video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my first gameplay of Jumpstart on MTG Arena. For those of you who don't know, Jumpstart is brand new to MTG Arena, it came out yesterday, and it's this really awesome format where you open up two packs and you get to kind of choose what theme you want. So you get to pick one of three themes and then one of three themes and you shuffle them together and you play. There's no deck building, none of that, and I know that might be a turnoff for some people, but it's just really fun magic that's really accessible due to its low entry fee, and it's overall just a really fun thing to do. So why don't we jump right into the gameplay, you can kind of see me picking the packs, I'm going to tell you what was kind of going through my head and why maybe it took me longer to pick packs than it, you might. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to go over some tips and tricks, so why don't we jump right into this? Alright, so starting off, here's how you enter. You pay 2000 and then you get shown three themes. So we have Wizard, Spooky, and Devilish. And what I'm doing right now is, uh, you notice I'm not doing anything. And you might think, oh, it's easy, just pick the one you'd want. But what I'm doing here is I'm actually visiting this Google Sheet that someone made with every single theme, every single variation, and the rares and mythics in each type. So I'm looking, like, what are the rares and mythics I could get from Wizards? What about Spooky? What about Devilish? On top of that, I looked at the lands, because that is a little bit of a thought. Um, but I figure out Devilish is the most likely to have a jumpstart rare or mythic. And if you want access to this sheet, just uh, look in the comments down below, or in the description down below, I will have a link. And then I pick elves because I'm guaranteed either Crater Hoof Behemoth or Allosaur Shepherd, and I end up with Allosaur Shepherd. Uh, so then we move into our first bit of gameplay, and you'll notice, so it's just devils and elves, and this hand looks really good, it's looking pretty good. I'm not really going to talk too much about the gameplay. I might a little bit if I run out of things to talk about Jumpstart, but I just want to talk about Jumpstart as a whole. Overall, it has been a really fun experience to be able to pay 2,000 gold, get a bunch of packs that I get to choose. It's not just, oh, sorry, I hope you like flying, uh, you know, bass freeze. Um, it's just... It's, it's just really fun to play, and every all the decks feel somewhat equally powered, and if you feel like you're being outpowered, you can just concede and play a different game. I think the fact that there's no win-loss ratio might, you know, turn some people off of, you know, I can't make back what I'm entering with, but I think it actually adds to it. It lets you just play much more casually, which is kind of what this format's meant to be. It's not supposed to be, oh no, I can't lose. I must do everything in my power not to lose, and it makes it so if you just have a bad matchup, just concede, you know, try again. So here I'm playing, you know, Devilish Elves, and he is playing under the C plus one plus one counters, and so, you know, we're right now, our board states are pretty even, you know, he's knocked me down a couple pegs, I really haven't interacted with his board, but, you know, my 3-3 Death Toucher is kind of holding off his giant creatures, so overall this is looking pretty good, and I actually, you know, I get Allosaur Shepherd, which is really awesome, because I can turn all of my Elves into 5-5s, five and it's just, it's so much fun knowing that I don't, I don't know, just something about the experience, it's something you kind of have to do in order to really understand, it's just a lot of fun. Now, if you don't like limited and you prefer to have this most refined decks, no weird cards, like, uh, you know, this obviously isn't the format for you, but I recommend that everyone give it a shot, you get tons of cool cards for Historic, you get some very awesome basic land arts, like those uh, mountains right there. Um, if I were to say, if I had any complaints, and I'm I should probably check into this, but uh, one my, one of my biggest complaints is the lands, is that it defaults to the land you get, so before you even play a card, they can know that, oh, you're playing elves because of the land you have, which I think is fine, I just think that it's a little, I, I don't know, I just wish, I, I don't know, you might be able to pick different lands, but if you can, I recommend everyone does that, because if they look at this, before I even play anything, they know what my strategy is, I'm going to go wide, so they may make decisions based on that, and so I think that's one kind of complaint that I have, but I guess, you know, because in paper it's only one of the special lands, so it's a lot less likely, but here it's all of your lands, so just keep that in mind. Overall, when it comes to strategy, I recommend that when you're picking packs, don't go for it. this is the most powerful. I know it's going to be tempting, and you can go for the most powerful, but if you're trying to go for an efficiency level, you should, first off, try to avoid picking the same pack twice in a row, maybe not even in a row, just avoid picking the same pack twice. You're often not going to be able to get another rare. On top of that, check out that spreadsheet. You don't want want to, you know, you you don't want to, you know, look at this and be like, oh, my mythic was bastard, I already have four of them, that's unfortunate. Instead, you want to be like, oh, this is a new jumpstart rate thing, so I recommend, again, checking out that link in the description down below, and also look at the lands. I, I know a lot of people aren't going to care about lands, and honestly, I will probably continue to use the Theros land, but if I'm playing an elf deck, maybe I'll use the elf lands, and it's just... I don't know, there's something kinda interesting about this format, and again, 
uh, obviously this isn't for everyone. It's just really interesting to see this gameplay. It's very limited-esque, but you don't have to feel like, oh, I'm bad at drafting, or oh, I have to win. Like, here I'm like, yes, I would love to win, but I don't need to. Uh, and there's just so many interesting things, like in this, Pursued Whale is uh, making me attack, and I'm like, oh, I want to save my shepherd, so I give him the ability to tap, and it's just really fun interactive gameplay that you wouldn't get in something like Standard, where everyone's goal is, I just want to win. And I think if you go into this with the mindset of, I just want to win, you're not going to have fun. But if you go into this with the mindset of, yeah, this is going to be just an awesome event, you know, I'm just gonna have fun, it is so much more enjoyable. You know, if I would have lost this, boohoo. It, but I won, and that's kind of cool, but that's not what's important. So, yeah, just keep that in mind when you're playing. This is about having fun, and honestly, if you are trying to be super analytical about this and not just, you know, pick the most powerful packs, you should probably not pick repeats. That's my only advice. Um, also, remember, you do get the two rare ICRs, so it may be tempting to just open packs, resign, open packs, resign, but you will get the most efficiency for your coins if you do the games, which I know, if you end up with some really awful theme, like Mel... And then something that, you know, opposite of mill. Mill, I don't know, something. You might not be able to get wins very easily, but I still recommend you do it. You know, I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of time right now. Obviously not everyone, but just, yeah. So this is the second game here. So I'm playing against a mono white life gain. I mean, mono, not mono white. And, was, and there's obviously life gain is one of them. And something black related is the other, you know, theme. I have very, you know, it looks like maybe Self Mill or Creepy, or not Spooky, sp not Creepy, Spooky, uh, and so at this point, I'm, my deck is very clearly devilish, but now I'd kind of reveal what my deck is, but more importantly, you know, uh, I'm, right now I have a lot of devil synergy, it's a lot of win things that I deal damage, you know, sacrifice things, and that's what I notice a lot of time happen, a lot of the time happens in these games. You'll get like a lot of devilish cards right in a row, and you'll want to play those because they synergize, and then maybe they'll kill all your devilish creatures, and then you end up with the elves, uh, and so it's very interesting. Now, this was my first game, I have done a couple games, or not my first game, but my first set of Jumpstart, and I have done a couple games after this, um, and I got, I think I got elves again because elves. By the way, if you see elves, pick it. It's very, pick it. It's a very powerful thing, and the rares and mythics are guaranteed to be from Jumpstart. Uh, and you could end up with something like Creator of Behemoth, which is just an insane card. And even Allosaurus Shepherd is a pretty good card. Now. What's interesting here is I didn't actually get to finish my second game. You'll see why here in a second. He plays this, you know, I discard my artifact destroyer, and then I create an elf, and I don't know if he realized that that added that ability, but he just concedes on the spot, which is kind of lame, but overall, the event was a ton of fun. Even when I have people who just quit, it's a ton of fun. I got a bunch of cool cards that I'm really excited to build around, and, you know, I may have only gotten one, you know, one, one elf or a shepherd, although I'm at three now, um... It, it, you know, Historic Brawl, I'm really excited about. We get a lot of awesome legendaries, so just, I think this release was a really big success. I want to know how your guys' jumpstart went, though, however, so let me know how you guys have done and what your favorite combination has been in the comments down below. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.